Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609. It is April the 16th, 2017 at 7.45 a.m. Central Standard Time and it's 66 degrees outside and I'm on fire. <laughs> I got something going again, boy. I'm into it now. I'm rolling. Old Rusty is rolling. Anyway, back when I came up with my truck idea, if there's some feathers hanging out of my mouth, I'll tell you why in a minute. <clears throat> you hear me? Feathers hanging out of my mouth. Anyway, uh, because when I first got my pickup and I was thinking about going camping in, a lot of guys, a lot of you people, suggested getting a truck topper or a truck camper top. And I said, no, I don't want one. I ain't going to get one because they weigh too damn much and they're too damn expensive. That's exactly what I said. Well, that's why the feathers are hanging out of my mouth now because... I camped in my truck for a while last night, and what I found out was <laughs> what I found out was is uh, about 2 a.m. this morning, it, I don't know why, it just started sprinkling. It did. And I thought, well, wait a minute, what if I, and that happens out in, in Guadalupe Mountains and other places during the night. <clears throat> a little cloud will pass over and it'll just mist for a minute and it'll go away. <clears throat> and I thought, well, if I was camping in my cot tent, then I'd have to get out and put the rain cover on and all that stuff. And I thought, well, shit, why don't you just get you a truck camper top or what they call a topper or whatever, camper top for your pickup and be done with it. And then it occurred to me that probably 50 people had suggested that a month ago, or when I first got the truck. So what I have to do now is eat a little crow. Okay, that's why there's feathers hanging out of my mouth. I have eaten crow this morning and decided to get me a truck camper top. Now, <clears throat> it appears that in my area there are three brands. Lear, L-E-E-R, and then there's another one called A period R period E period A R E, and then the third one is Snug Top, and those are the only three that are available in my area in the Austin, Texas area. Now there's others made all over the United States, but those are available in my area for my truck, <clears throat> and they also make different uh, types. In other words, there's one that's just level with the cab of the truck, and then there's one that comes up about two inches, and that's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> because that one that comes up about two inches above the cab gives you a lot more space inside the camper unit. And so that would allow me to set up my bed and stuff and just close the little door at the back and go. And that's it. I don't have to set up or take down anything ever. <laughs> Do I like that? Yeah, it's just like camping in the Prius. Except I won't have the AC and the heat. <clears throat> but do I need that? No, because I never hardly ran it anyway. Because I only go, I'm a fair weather camper, and uh, my channel is Rusty78609. <laughs> I like this shirt. Anyway, my viewer gave me this, by the way, two of them. He, he does silk screen, or she, whoever. Anyway, <clears throat> it appears that the Lear, the ARE, and the Snug Top truck camper tops are all similar quality, except for the hinge on the lift up door at the back now they also make one with a door that opens out like that but it's pretty expensive so we're going to forget that one the ones with the door that up and open like that and they also have sliding windows like this uh, on the side so i'm used to that and they've also got screens okay so you got a little, little ventilation and then you can open that back thing and i'll put me a some of that uh, uh no seam netting there and probably leave that open until it gets cool at night and then maybe close that Good idea, huh? Oh, Rusty's planning. God dang, I'm planning. I'm into spending money again. God damn. Oh, boy, the poor house is... This is the poor house, baby. The bow house. But anyway, the cost of them looks like it's somewhere around $1,600 in that range. <clears throat> All three of them are about the same price. Well, like, you can't really get the prices. You have to kind of go somewhere and find out what the, somebody paid for one or you know you kind of sneak in the back door they you have to get a quote and they can't give me the quote till monday because nobody's open on sundays etc 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 but anyway it looks like it's going to be around sixteen hundred dollars in that range 
and they weigh around 180 pounds and they all weigh the same. Now, there is another one you can get that's much cheaper, an aluminum one. They do make aluminum truck camper tops and they're a little lighter weight, actually. And, uh, but, but, a big old B-U-T right in the middle of all that, they don't look very good. I mean, if you were going to put the camper on and go camping and come home and take it off, uh, that would probably work, but they just look, they just don't look good on the truck, okay? And am I into looks? Sort of. I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, I want things to look decent. And, uh, you know, and for the difference in price, I don't think it's that big a deal. But anyway, they do make aluminum ones. So, uh, Truck Camper Top Review by Rusty78609 is as follows. <clears throat> My first choice would probably be the ARE. I think the, they make it, I think it's a 180, but anyway, it's got the little two inch riser kind of thing that comes, it's not just straight level with the cab of the pickup. It's got, it kind of comes up just a little bit to give you about that much more space maybe. But is that good? Yes, because if you're sleeping on a cot in the back of your pickup and you've got, say, let's just say that right here is the, the edge of the truck, okay? Then, then this would be the camper top right here, okay? I mean, this is almost a perfect example. So, you know, if I was laying at this height, right here then then that would be very close but that extra two inches would make a lot of difference and i don't think there's but about a hundred dollars difference in the price so that's the direction i'm going so that's uh why i wanted to do this video this morning was to give you guys a heads up all you guys that told me to get a tr truck camper and i said no 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 i'm not getting a truck camper no 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 let me pick the feathers uh, out of my mouth crow does not have a very good taste okay Eating crow is the way it is. But anyway, when you're polishing the diamond, that happens. Sometimes you got to eat a little crow, folks, because you realize that you were wrong. <laughs> Do I mind admitting it? No. Uh-uh. Don't mind it at all. That's the way it is. You guys pointed it out at the beginning. However, I had it in my little rock head that I was not going to get a camper top, and that's it. I mean, it, that, that door was shut with a lock hanging off of it. And uh, the lock has been removed now, and I'm either going to, I'm going to check Monday when I'll get it. I don't know, probably in the next few days. Do I enjoy spending $1,600? No. Uh, do I want to spend $1,600? No. Am I going to spend $1,600? Probably. If I'm going to go camping in the truck, that's the only way I can make it work, I think. I mean, I could force it with the going without it, but... I think it will be much more enjoyable because you don't have to put anything up or down. You know, you just set your camper up before you go with your bed and stuff. You got all your stuff in the back secure. You don't have to worry about going in to get ice at Walmart and coming out. And your truck's been unloaded. How about that? And uh, so, yeah, it's got some real advantages. And it, it will dovetail or fit in with going camping in the uh, scamp when I get it because I can have some stuff in the back of the truck that, uh, kind of, will kind of give me some extra space to put some stuff and uh, not that I need to take any stuff but uh, it will allow me to put maybe a garden hose back there and of course they've got a place for the sewer hose on the front of the, the scamp I'm told that it's not a very good deal but it'll work and then if I do some solar uh, when I'm not using it I can put it in back of the pickup and lock the door and it'll be nice because can will people walk off with suitcase solar yeah yeah, or just two fold or folding panel. Yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And never look back. But anyway, the choice right now is between a Lear camper top or topper, A R E or snow top. And right now, uh, A R E is in the front. So having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe di oh, thumb, 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 feathers. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 USA, made when you can, and all of these are made in the USA. Uh, drink plenty of water, three quarts a day will not hurt you. You will pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum, but you will feel much better. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Do that several times a day. Why? It relieves stress, and when you relieve stress, you lower your blood pressure and you feel better. So, and after that, then you go stretch, 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 and you go walking and enjoy the rest of your life, and you stay healthy, and when I go camping, we all go together, okay? So, having said that, for you guys that sent me letters and stuff in the mail, I appreciate it. Here's my mailing address. It's Rusty P.O. Box 
1446 Kingsland, Texas 78639. If you want to contact me by PayPal, that's fine too. You can do that at Rusty78609 at Yahoo.com. And for those of you that have done that recently, I sincerely appreciate it because I'm fixing to go get me a camper top, guys. I think. I think. And anyway, we'll go camping pretty soon. As soon as I get all this stuff together and uh, we're going. Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.